Hey, what's up, nerds? Me again. <clears throat> Once again, making myself a liar. Cracking more. Opening up more of uh, good old flesh and blood. Uh, the last one in my possession at any rate. So this really has to be it. Uh, but this is Arcade Rising. The more fun of the two sets in my mind to crack open. Um, so here we go. It'll be quick because again, at this point seen most of these cards. Got a sense of... Uh, you know, the beauty of everything, I don't have to slow roll it as I like to do when I haven't seen cards. Uh, and let's see what I hit, if anything. That's it. After this, though, it's just waiting on Monarch and, and uh, you know, if I got to crack some stuff open, it'll have to be uh, some of the goodies that I'm collecting from eBay, from the world of uh, the Dead CCGs. But, at any rate, you know, cards are... Uh, just on my mind lately and everywhere I look on YouTube and it's just funny things going on in the card world um, these are five and then the rares right yeah it's probably the salt which is locked and loaded and um, for those of you who are or happen to be magic players you may be aware of the nuttiness going on around the Time Spiral uh, Remastered set that just got put out uh, where boxes have shot up from uh, more or less a, a suggested retail price of 150 sort of, because they don't really have an MSRP on the product, um, up to 320 and the world got mad because they're pretty sure that Wizards of the Coast or Hasbro at this point, there's no point in calling it Wizards Hasbro, isn't gonna send any more to the local game shops. If there is any more to be sold, they're just gonna sell it direct and hoard that money themselves or whatnot, but uh, there may not even be more to be sold. And so you end up with something that uh, in theory they intend to be. Chains of Eminence, super. Generic R. Something they intended to be 150, which is still more than their typical products. Costing 320 if you want to get in on the action, and, and there's a there's a reason why there's these like uh, old bordered cards that come in foil in the in the packs. But uh, what's funny to me is uh, for those of you who are also happen to be on Facebook and have seen for the last few months the ads where in Channel Five, hey, there's my majestic Sonic Boom. Nice art. I don't have that one, so that's the first for me. And both of the Arc Knight. Uh, for the rare pile. But anyway, where was I? Yeah, if you've been on Facebook and you've been following the ads that Channel Fireball or uh, Star City Games or TCG Player have put out there for boxes of Monarch, there's just so many people complaining about the prices of the Limited. Uh, and, and also even complaining about the fluctuation of the prices uh, and clearly magic players at that and it's just so funny because guys what, <laughs> look at what's going on in your own game which is my game as well not to knock them but point being no room rogue full equipment hit. point being that um, again how, how people get so worked up about the price movements and, and the high price on some aspects of this game but magic itself it's just it's going nuts it's going crazy and it's directly attributable not necessarily so much to you know organic demand from the players but to shenanigans on the part of the the publisher of, of hasbro so guys just understand it is what it is and no one likes paying a lot of money for 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 their hobby but it's just a part of it in this hobby unless you are very sharp and know when to grab products and how to get them at the right price and or how to make the hobby pay for itself i'm not in that group guys <laughs> i'm just a, a mark for card games at the moment so plunder run spell blade assault and blood spill on vacation um yeah so crazy and it's crazy and obviously the this run up in prices, this basically inflation that's going on in the world now, it's, it's bigger than any game. It's bigger even than 
collectibles at large, but it's just very clear and very evidently happening in the world of collectibles. Um, and again, even old ones. Uh, I've just been building up my stash of some of the old games from my childhood that I always liked or that I always wanted to collect and never got a chance to. And um, yeah, it's it's. I'm clearly not the only person in that mind state right now. Hey, red in the ledger. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. This dude's really getting it. Uh, another majestic. Before come. So yeah, it's, it's always a lot of people are. Um, you can see it here on YouTube. You can see it in the prices. You can see it in the Facebook groups. I don't know if it's all the time that the extra time being spent at home. I don't know if it is the stimmy checks that everyone's getting. Um, what it is? I mean, in my own case, I can tell you that I saw the prices begin to rise on some of these things I've been watching for some years, and I figured it's now or never. Forked lightning. Uh, it's now or never it's, it seemed like and so that's how I started this little down this rabbit hole really began with Marvel cards and uh, so I bought some of the later sets the ones that aren't being as brutally targeted by the speculators the people trying to grade cards um, still after Marvel series 2 if you guys know what that is if anyone can help me with that whoops comments go over here but convection amplifier over uh, here. So I started from there. Uh, I luckily over the last week another game, I, older game that I always wanted to get into, but on which I did miss the, this this freaking gold rush, or did beat it, I should say rather, is Vampire: the Eternal Struggle. I got, I got a whole bunch of that over the last few years. Still have not played one game, um, but I do have decks built for that. Um, Rage hasn't been so bad, the werewolf game, if you guys remember that. Uh, Middle Earth has gone, has gone pretty nuts. You guys, if you've poked around my channel, may have seen. I was able to scoop some of that up at, well, it was reasonable prices to me. But, you know, I'm sure someone who's been slowly collecting it for some years might not be so happy about uh, where the prices are right now. But anyway, like I said, that's just a part of hobbies. It's part of hobby life. Um, it is what it is, guys. If you don't like it, you gotta find another way to get your kicks in. I'd say board games, which are not collectible, but that's not cheap, man. It's not a cheap hobby either. Ether Spindle, another super maximum velocity. Hey, another fork lightning, this time in foil. That's pretty cool. comments ah man i love the purple box here i love uh i love these classes um i love these classes i gotta say this this is what sold me on flesh and blood is really the art and the classes from this set uh just really fantastic looking let me try not to start down the road of uh drooling over these cards as I tend to do but you guys know that's really the at the heart of it right at the heart of collecting cards they're just really cool objects pedal to the metal silver to tip this thing all right guys we're coming down to the end here Another silver to tip. Is that sorting nonsense going on here? Uh, foil ether spindle. I I, I agree with, with uh, I've heard some other YouTubers mention it or allude to it. There's, there's some sort of, I don't know, faulty, but there's something going on with the sorting on these. I don't know if it was the same way in Alpha, but just, uh, I think they could stand to, they could work on it for the next time around. Absorbent ether, rubbery. Wow, look at that. Oh, oh man. 
Hey, it'd be great to hit a legendary. Let's see. Will you come, buddy? Contraband. Sturdy ether wings. Maybe this prayer. Take cover and foil. Let's set this box aside. One, two, three, four. Five, six is what we've got left, guys. Here we go. Crucible. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I've seen this before, but I love it. Another take cover, see what I mean? <laughs> Although I may have jumbled the packs there and taken them out of the box because I find that sometimes just repetition comes two packs in a row, that's a little bit wild. Um, so. Boom, One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> Now those probably were next to each other. I'll see when I review this video. They probably were next to each other and there you go. Uh, Dark Knight, which I know we've got in this box. Portal World. Or the mold. Well, I like that art since I first saw it. Hilt of Metal. Another silver to tip. Got a straight shot. Okay. Ether Spindle. Rock the Death Whistle Super. Hey, there we go. Teclo Foundry Heart. I don't have this one. Just reading here, Me the Mechanologist, huh? Nice. All right, made a good call, huh, guys? Here I was rambling about not opening any more boxes in this. Send me. Very nice. Um, let's finish this one off here. So that that saved it was feeling like a eh, okay, but not amazing box. Last two. Let's see. Is it possible? Does anyone know? Has anyone seen it on street on anyone's YouTube? Can you hit two? I doubt it. it would be quite incredible though. Come to fight. Yeah boy. It's true, come to fight. And last pack. Life for life. Gotta get that on a mat. Another pour the mold. And room flash. Common. All right, guys. Toss these aside. Got our pile of uh, foil commons here. Pile of rares. And here's the highlights. Tekla Foundry Heart. Not the Death Whistle. Maximum Velocity. Fork Lightning in foil and regular. And the two Majestics, Red in the Ledger, Sonic Boom, oh, and Chains of Eminence, and a number of four rares. But yeah, man, cannot complain, huh, guys? Hit a third one now, and, um, ah, yeah, I got that crack in. Thanks for joining me, guys. <laughs> Leave some comments. Love chatting with anyone who happened to watch this far, and um, see you next time.